Hi, this is Hugh Evans, CEO of the Global Poverty Project. I'm here with Scott Harrison, who's the founder and CEO of Charity Water. Thank you so much for your time, Scott. You, good to see you, man. Great to see you too. So I'm interested in your reflections on the Global Citizen Festival. Uh, what were you excited about with the Global Citizen Festival and, and did it meet your expectations? Well, as a New Yorker, I was very excited about Central Park. <laughs> I know at first we'd, uh, you know, we talked about some other options, and it was like, Hugh, if you can get Central Park, you've arrived. <laughs> and uh, you know, what what better place to uh, to kind of tell the story to bring all these people together than in the middle of uh, of Manhattan, of New York City? So I was excited about that, and and of course the turnout was uh, was unbelievable. So tell me. You, on stage at the festival, yep. what was the commitment that Charity Water made? So we said we were going to raise $100 million uh, for clean water by the end of 2015. Now, we were about over five years old and uh, had only raised $50 million, right? So this is definitely turning up the volume. It's, it's a much quicker growth, uh, but we, we absolutely think it's possible. And in fact, since the festival, have raised another $10 million of that. Wow, $10 million since the festival, brilliant. So if we were to do a festival again, how could, we, how could global citizens really get behind you in the future? Well, you know, one of the ways that people have been raising uh, extraordinary amounts of money is through uh, the birthday. So they, they're giving up their birthdays. They're saying, I don't need any gifts. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I, I have everything I want or need. And they're asking for their age in dollars in donations from everyone they know. And we've seen this just take off. Um, the average person that, that donates their birthday raises over $1,000 from 13 of their friends. So, you know, imagine if every single person that, that attended the festival gave up a birthday, we'd have, uh, we'd have an incredible tens of millions of dollars uh, to be able to use to help people. So I'm interested in your ideas about how can the global citizen movement be of greatest service to charities all across the U.S., charities like your own? Sure. I think what's most useful is when someone hears about a cause and they, you know, it captures their imagination, they engage, but then they, they stay engaged, right? So it's not just the, the cause of the week or the cause of the month, and it doesn't need to be ours, but, you know, I would challenge people to find out what they're passionate about and then, and, and give it a go for a while, you know, stay committed, find out how you can partner with that organization, if it's giving time, if it's giving money. With, for us, if it's giving up a birthday or, or uh, running another kind of fundraising campaign, it's, it's, sticking, it's sticking with it. So I, would, I think that's it. I think it's, it's, it's engaging, but then staying engaged. Brilliant. So obviously we want the global citizen movement to have a lasting impact in, for charities like yourself, mm -hmm. for, for the world's poor, for, for all the artists and everyone involved. What would be the last final message that you would leave to global citizens? Um, well, I think it's, it's learn about these issues, pick one, and just commit. Uh, the impact we've seen people make so far exceeds their own expectations, uh, their, their own dreams sometimes. I mean, we've had people climb mountains, we've had people skydive, we've had people uh, walk across the country. We just had a, a, a nine-year-old girl ate rice and beans for a month to raise awareness and to, to raise money. She, she wound up bringing clean drinking water to three communities. Uh, her goal was one. Uh, so I think it's, it's really think that anything is possible, um, commit deeply to an issue, you know, get to know it, and, uh, and then just go after it uh, and inspire your, your friends, your family with, uh, with the knowledge that you've picked up and uh, inspire them to, to get involved. Thank you so much for your time, Scott. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Congrats again. Thank you.